morning, guys. Welcome to a day in my life. Being a final year engineering student, lately I've been pretty much living under a rock, mostly focusing on my studies and interviews. Not only have I been living under a rock, but also for the past couple of weeks, I imprisoned myself behind these glass doors. Why, you may ask? Well, there could only be one reason why an engineering student would do this to himself, and that reason would be exams. Huh? Exams were. Uh, how how can I say this? I just show you this meme, which pretty much summarizes how I felt about it. And I was a chitty chatty about exam struggles. It's Monday morning. You couldn't tell that just from my face. Tired as hell. Currently, on my way to my 11 p.m. power system engineering lecture. Luckily, this semester I ain't got any 9 a.m. So hopefully, I can actually achieve my streak this time, of not skipping any lectures. <laughs> Yeah, let's see how that goes. Due to the nature of my course being electrical and electronics, I have to take an electrical module to be able to complete my electro part of the degree. Hence, the power system engineering module that I'm currently taking and in the lecture for. What this module is all about is how to transmit and distribute. Voltages and power from power stations efficiently, while being safe and future-proof. And for today's lecture, we're learning about power flow calculations, and one of them being the Newton-Raphson method. Whatever hell that means. <laughs> Probably have to yeah revise later. After the lecture, I'm going to the cafeteria for lunch. Boy, during my whole first semester. I completely forgot that they had two cafeterias on campus. One which is restaurant-like meals, and the other cafeteria where they serve you mostly fast foods type of meals. Next, after lunch, I got like a whole five hours gap between my lectures. So during this gap on Monday, I either go to the labs or the library. But today, I just decided to go to the lab first. Currently in the labs, I'm working on my final year individual project, which I'm tasked with designing a controllable laser circuit with some sort of cooling device for my professor. I'm trying to somehow optimize the stability at the moment, as the output is very unstable, as, as you can see. By the data I just collected from and the LED blinking uh, on and off, which is not supposed to be. I'm thinking if I just slap on some capacitors and on the output and op amp and the output of the load, hopefully that fixes the issues. Or maybe just entirely think of a different method of designing the circuit. Using a DAC maybe of some sort? Feeding back measurements for auto adjustment? Hmm. Not too sure, man. Not too sure what I'm gonna do, to be honest. Yeah, but most of the time in the labs, I, it goes like this. And after a while of thinking, my brain just literally just overloads itself, and then it just short circuit. And that's when I know I have to chill. This year, I've been trying a new way of studying, and I feel like I've changed from being an average student to a pretty decent one, I would say. And if my exam actually reflects that, I'll share with you guys how to study more efficiently in the future. Because trust me, I'm not a high achiever type of person. I don't really study that well compared to my peers. I'm always considering myself being an average. But now I'm fixing that mindset and hopefully break out of my being average shell. 
My final lecture is on digital control system. I was expecting this module to be somewhat related to electronic size of things, like signal processing of some sort, but I, I should have expected not to be because it's the same professor that is teaching me from last semester, and it was all mathematics. <sighs> and that exam was probably the worst exam I'd taken that semester. But it is a useful uh, subject and module though for my uh, actually my fi final project, so that's why I'm taking it. Hopefully it helps. Don't know if it does. By the end of the lecture, you know, I get out of the hole. It always surprises me. Like you go in 5 p.m. into the lecture and you come out, it's completely dark. But yeah, by that time when it's dark, I just go home and that's my day. <laughs>